All right, so um, as a lot of you probably have wondered or kind of wanted to ask me, uh, so, uh, feathers, how do you make your stuff in Panda 3D? And I'm like, yeah, um, I can show you. So, here goes. <clears throat> You want to have Panda 3D and Python installed. I honestly don't know how I did that. It really depends on like your OS, what you're using, what kind of computer you're using, all that kind of stuff. So uh, there's probably a ton of different tutorials on how to do that for you, like you do you. So uh, we'll skip forward. Um, so you'll want to have all the phase files unzipped uh, for your computer. Um, I am currently using my Toontown offline files, but Toontown rewritten fi phase files will work just as good. Um, so let's go over this script. So you'll want to have this program called Genie. It's a code editor. It's a compiler. It's cool. It's free. Uh, the download link is in the description for like the, the site. Um, so, to create a thing, you'll want to go to File, New with Template, main.py. Uh, I'll also include the download link for this file, too, so, you know, I'm not going to say, like, all the stuff out loud. Actually, you know what I will. From Direct Act... Actually, you know what? No. Never mind. Never mind. So, um... <clears throat> Let's go over this. So here, eagle equals actor, parentheses, this. Um, so what you're going to want here is, so this is the type of suit you'll want. So suit A is buff, uh, suit B is skinny, so like mover and shakers, and suit C is chubby, so like glad handers, corporate raiders, those kinds of cogs, but legal eagles uh, are buff. So yes. Also when you get this file you'll want to replace this right here, like all these paths, with um, uh, <clears throat> wherever yours is. So if, I really doubt that you have this exact uh, file path. So yeah. Also, uh, hold on, let me go over here to this one and copy and paste it for you. Oh, is it this one? No, it's untitled. Um, so since this is Python, putting a hashtag uh, <clears throat> kind of makes things happen. So, uh, oh, uh, okay, here we go. I'm going to paste this into the document. These are for the basic cogs. Uh, you'll have to figure it out by yourself. <clears throat> so, for a cog, you'll want to load the model, so the suit, so the body. Then name your animation right here. I named it Meme because I'm 12. Not really, I'm not actually 12, but whatever. Anyway, uh, put a colon, that's very important. And then find the path of your... Oh. <sighs> find the path of your animation. Make sure that it corresponds with the correct suit or everything will go to shit. Literally, so uh, it'll just stand in T-pose and not do anything at all. So... Then you have the actor's name, so notice how I've named the actor Eagle, and then actor Loop Meme. <clears throat> you gotta have Reparent to render or it's not going to show up. Then after that you can set the color of its hand joint, so doing this, so find, and then this tells it to find the joint on suit A mod, to find the joint hands. And then it will set those white hands to this color, which is the legal eagle hand texture. Uh, there's set position, which is just positioning it in space. Uh, I still 
always forget which one is X, Y, and Z because I don't remember what Panda 3D is. I don't know if it's Z up or if it's just normal Y up, but whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> I think it's Y up, so X, Y, Z. Then you will want to load the textures. It'll do the whole same thing up here, but you load a texture file, so this should load the Lawbot textures. <clears throat> Right here, my text, eagle, find all matches, blah, blah, blah. Uh, then, you'll want to load its head. So unless you're weird and want to put like a, a different cog head on a different cog body, so give like a, make a really chubby mover and shaker, which actually sounds really cute. But anyway, uh, you'll want to make sure you have suit a heads.bam and suit a mod.bam. Uh, so when you open your file, you're going to want to uh, shift L. In fact, I'll show you how to do this right right now. Uh, terminal, ignore that. I was uh, making a texture pack. New window, just new window. Uh, so, first off, you will want to preview and then just paste or drag your file in. Hit enter, and it should pop up if you as Panda 3D is working. Some, yeah, it has textures, sometimes it doesn't, it really depends what's going on and what's what's happens with the craps on the snaps. So, um, some cogs have the same head mesh, but a, just a different texture, so see how you can see the uh, number cruncher in there, the Yes Man slash Hollywood, Two-Face, uh, Big Wig, uh, whatever else is there. Oh, Backstabber, I can see his uh, hair poking out. Anyway, <clears throat> so shift L and check right here. So whatever cog you're going to want, so say you want like big cheese for your guy, uh, so you'll see legal eagles in there, so find uh, asterisk asterisk slash Legal Eagle, you'll want to make sure that name is correct. And then reparent to find joint head. So, I mean, if you didn't do that, the head would just kind of be stuck. So, I'm going to show you that right now. So, let me save this real quick. <clears throat> I'm going to save it as tutorial for you. Heck yeah, dude. Save tutorial for you. So then click this button which will run your script. <clears throat> Sorry if I sound kind of funky. I just had dinner. Blech. Also it's been just a really long Monday as you can see it is like 7.50 as I've made this video. But So you won't immediately see it doing something so you might have to pan around a little bit. Uh, oh he's uh, getting sucked into a void there. Sorry, buddy. You gotta do it for the tutorial. You gotta do it for the for the fans. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna, so just close this to make that go away. And so I will show you what it will look like if you don't repair it the head to the joint. It's really funny but it also kind of is mean. Also, oh! Oh! It doesn't even render! Oh. Uh, so if you copy-pasted this uh, repair it to render line... If you're not like a scrub or whatever... I'm gonna close that other thing. I don't need to keep that open after this, so... Parent to render, blah blah blah. Sometimes it might poop. I don't know. Oh! Well, lots of things happen, but you know. You can always change the size with. Uh... So now let's do a couple other funky things. So. I'm gonna delete that. Uh, so. You can change the scale of things too. So. Eagle head dot set scale and then zero 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 for normal size or 
if you want to be a poop. <laughs> Him big. Uh, I believe this is how they do, like, you know, when you have the big head effect or whatever, you probably just jack it up to, like, a uh, set size 10, 10, 10, or, like, small tune just in general. Uh, there's also set HPR, which sets its head pitch and rotation, which is basically rotation around the axes, the axes, you know. So if I set the head pitch and roll, you probably don't notice it at first, but the head is slightly off. Uh, it's actually looking to one direction slightly, which I also think is how they do a couple other things, so... But yeah, so there's HPR, set scale, and set position, which just sets its position in three-dimensional space. Like I said earlier, with the, I forgot if it was X or Y up. I think it's still Y up, but X up, Y up, Z up. Who cares? I don't. So, <clears throat> that's that. You have your cogger. You have your cog. You got him. You got him, kiddo. So, actually, if you wanted to make a different cog, I will show you what that looks like over here. No, that's not it. I think it's actually this one. Anyway, this is what a suit B looks like. I think I had this for, like, a video I made once, and... Oh, crap, I got myself turned around. Let me try that again. Close... Yeah, it's just a mover and shaker chilling out. I uh, removed the color from his hands by accident, but you know. Also, I'm going to show you something real neato. So, see this? So, uh, where their health meter should be is how you could attach like a like the wing backpacks to them like I did for feathers. I'll show you that, how that works, but I won't include feathers the burb. So... <clears throat> As you can see, it's a little bit more convoluted. Also, that's not necessary right there. Uh, I also have a backdrop, uh, but I'm not going to tell you how to do that either. So, uh, depending on what kind of accessory, you'll probably want the hat to repair it to the head joint, and then you can set the position and head pitch and rotation as much as you want, as well as the scale. Sh same with glasses, uh, backpacks, and... Just backpacks. Backpacks would repair it to the joint attach meter. The joint attach meter. Because that will follow on their back. <clears throat> Isn't that really cool? Here, I'll run feathers for you again. I'll run feathers so you can see what that looks like. So, uh, yeah, that's how I make this cool stuff in Panda 3D. Uh, I'm trying to think of who I actually lifted this original script from. I can't think of his name anymore because he deleted his YouTube, and I'm like, wow, okay, thanks. Because he kind of had the only video on how to actually build a tune model, and I was originally supposed to going to do that for a uh, project I was doing for school, and then I looked up his channel, and he was gone, and I'm like, okay, that's not cool. So I ended up having to just build a cog, which didn't look as great, but I was able to twist the project around for it to work, so, you know. Tunes are wildly complicated to build because they have multiple animations that go to multiple parts of them, similar in to how a cog boss works, which I'll show you, but I'm not going to explain either because it's a little more advanced and I'm kind of, like I said, I sound kind of funky from, uh, from, uh, eating dinner. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess that's not going to work.
Well, I don't know what's wrong with that, but, you know. Is phase nine not there anymore? Okay, whatever. I'll figure that out later, but... <clears throat> That's how I uh, make cogs and things. Genie! So I'm just gonna save this up real good. No, that's not the save button, but that saves it anyway. So, like I said, you're going to have to change this route and pick maybe a different animation for this. I mean, I don't know. Uh, included with this is also the color for legal eagle hands, so that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's that. This is just raw video. Thanks for watching!